This is Foncho. Today, I have come here not to do debates with my fellow brothers and sisters. I have come here today to issue on behalf of all the loyal soldiers of Ambazonia within the framework that is undergoing reorganization on the ground. I have not come here to tell you people what myself and my comrades in arms are doing are feverishly working in order to change the game on the ground. I have mentioned 200 days, and 200 days it is. Fellow Ambazonians, rest assured that independence will be delivered. And we, the machine behind that fight, we have decided not to seek funding from the Ambazonian people. We are charting our own course. My fellow countrymen, Ambazonia, by the day, it's seeming as if we shall need a strong leader to iron fist this revolution. A strong leader to direct this revolution with an iron fist without discussing the perimeters and direction that we all need to take. The reason why I'm here today is this. I did not create the ASC. The inception of the ASC was not to become a political wing of the interim government. In as much, my criticism is not about the interim government but the current leadership. The ASC, which has misfired with all type of rubber boots commanders, fake commanders brought in who are loyal, to this current theocracy leadership of the IG, embezzlers that are pointing fingers to the wrong direction. I am issuing an ultimatum in the name of all the fighting forces that are on the ground undergoing a total reorganization and revamping. Materials allocation we shall not seek from the Ambazonian people anymore because time and time again it has proven that resources from the Ambazonian people end up in the hands of political leaders who embezzle these monies and start to accuse other people. And the lack of foresight by Ambazonians who have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, and following sheepishly political leaders, that era has come to an end. I have come here to tell the ASC commanders that we are in charge of this guy, General Amigo, to immediately, unconditionally, release General RK. RK. We cannot get in a situation where we are perpetrating civil war on ourselves. This is a warning. Ambazonia, even after independence, might slide into a civil war like what Sabah Tokia and Rik Masha undergo in southern Sudan. Ours might even be worse because we have multiple tribes, more than even southern Sudan. So I am warning whoever gave that authority to General Amigo to arrest or rendition of General Ake to 
immediately rescind that order and unconditionally release General R.K. without any spot on him. General R.K. in arm's way, whoever gave this decision or whoever is in charge of such stupid and ignorant decision, they will hear from us. That is what I came here to tell the Ambazonian people. Civil war might be inevitable with the discord in which we are carrying on. And I want to let all Ambazonia know, Ambazonia has no interim government. The bullshit about an interim government and an interim president is done and over with. The bullshit about strategies, LGA or county by county, you guys can go ahead and carry it. As they have said, no cooperation. Yes, no cooperation between the political leadership doesn't mean no cooperation within the fighting forces on the ground. My blood and my tears, my strength and my capacity, those of my comrades shall bear fruit and we shall liberate Ambazonia. On behalf of all the fighting forces under the restructured command, RK must be let go and let go free so safely. This is an ultimatum to whoever sent General Amigo. And in a couple of hours, my comrade will be speaking in private with General Amigo. And Mr. RK must be let go. The consequences are there. And this is not the reason why I incepted ASC that gave this ragtag pastors the authority and the and the popularity to be able to swindle ambazonians and some ambazonians are foolishly following pastors ambazonia is not a theocracy so good night